Sometimes I go like this. But then I stop. This has been one of those times. Hello, how we doing? Hi guys. It's good to see you. We got another Black Books reaction for you today. This is episode one. We're starting season three now. Ooh. So we're pretty far into it. Um, and this one's called Manny Come Home. So does he run away? I'm does he find a new friend? Didn't he fire him? Does at he the get end of it? kidnapped? He fired him at the end of the season too. Remember? Yeah. 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 Does he get kidnapped? Maybe he goes to Florida. Maybe. Florida. 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 <laughs> no. Those goddamn New Yorkers. New Yorkers. Um. The Black Books season three episode one. Manny come home. I'm I'm scared of what's gonna happen to him. Yeah. Because uh, usually Manny, Manny ends up in some pretty he's bad He's not okay by himself. He no, needs a chaperone. He definitely needs a chaperone. But uh, you ready to go? I'm ready. All right, let's do it. Like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want. And here we go. Let's get it. Dear Bernard, dear Manny. See, I told you I'd write. Cornwall is, well, you've seen the pictures. It's like the pictures, except a lot more boring. Everybody is at least 300, and they all speak some kind of medieval English. The most important word being... <laughs> Can't wait to see you. Get a bottle open. Love, Fran. <laughs> Bernard? Manny? Hello? Oh, it's Bernie. you. Go around the green bin bag. <laughs> Then write till you get to the mouldy George Eliot. <laughs> then write, forward, go on, forward, and then it's left. He's a hoarder. That's yeah. a dead badger. <laughs> Lovely to see you. Mwah, mwah. Bernard, are you okay? Never better. When was he ever okay? I know, but he's like really depressed now. I've discovered television. <laughs> I've discovered television. You don't look right. And what's going on with the shop? And where's Manny? Him? He left. He left like I always knew he would. That's what people do when you love them and nurture them and take care of them. <laughs> you mean you sacked him? There may have been an incident. <laughs> Possibly involving a kitchen item and a hand, and maybe the hand was Manny's, and maybe the item was a sandwich toaster, and maybe I introduced <laughs> them to each other. So he's gone? Oh, no, he still sleeps here. Burrowed in like the little tick he is. <laughs> but he leaves every day. Every day is another betrayal. What, 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 what do you mean? Come on. He still sleeps there. There. <laughs> oh, it's so, he's crazy. It's so ridiculous. Like, oh, he's right there and he pulls out a brick from his own store. Oh my god. There he is. Half Viago. Half the That's Fumanch. the uh, Goliath books, I think, that uh, they were constructing next door in the yeah. last episode. Yeah. Two. <laughs> All bastard. <laughs> hello. How are you today? Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Do you work there? Oh, hello. Hello. How are you? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> are you today? Hello. How? How? <laughs> are you today? Hello. I'm fine. Do you have... Welcome to Goliath Books. I'm looking for... I'll help you. Huh? How may I help you? I want... My name is Manny. Never mind. Hello. <laughs> I need a drink. Manny, could you... Oh. <laughs> Bernard, could you get me one? 
Look at it yourself. I'm missing my program. Snails. Snails, yes. Those are the land snails, though. Yeah. Oh, it's Simon Pegg, yes. This is the guy from uh, Shaun of the Dead. I was going to say, those, he looks familiar. The Cornetto trilogy yeah. movies, yeah. You're safe now. When you're with us, you're a team member. What are you? A team member. And we're glad to have you. Muffins are for customers. <laughs> now, this is your duty to do card. Do 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 do. <laughs> this is the most advanced retail software in the world. Now, you're going to need a password. Oh, uh, what about Surf King? Hey! Or team member number eight. <laughs> now, from this retail console, you can control the whole shopping environment. There's the shutters. There's the lights. There's the revolving displays. The cameras. You can order the muffins. It does the lot. It's fantastic. Hmm. It also monitors your toilet visits and scans your retinas every 80 seconds. <laughs> Why is that? <laughs> Just making sure you're still you. <laughs> Some people might call that invasive, but we like to think it shows we care. See you later. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Simon Pegg. As if Simon Pegg wasn't talented enough and I didn't like him anymore. Yeah. But now I think he should be on, like, every instructional... Uh, yeah, video right? as his voice like it was every training video should be him. yeah he sounded like he would go perfectly on like training videos like yeah and now you put your right leg over your over your left do you remember when we watched a training video for waffle house yes oh my Listen, god you want to see some crazy weird american shit look up the training video for waffle house it is i think you have to be a rocket scientist to work at waffle house yeah yeah it will blow it will blow your mind. mind. I can't even explain it. Just please just look type it up. in Waffle House training video, and it should have like millions, maybe tens of millions of views yeah. on that one video. And you and will. It's, it's specifically the part when they set up the plates so that you know, like, so that the person cooking it knows what to cook. Yeah. They're like, a sugar packet means a medium well burger. A sweet and low sugar packet means hash browns. And, it's and like, then he's like, and then you, if you put it sideways, it means double hash browns. <laughs> and it's the most confusing. I can't. They're like, if you want a pickle on your hash brown, you're going to put a straw wrapper on top of the <laughs> sugar laugh, packet. I'm, I'm laughing just thinking about it. It is kind of a long video, though, but I oh trust me, it's we worth your time. It's, the it's most... one of the funniest things I've I ever seen. I was like, I don't think I was smart enough to work at Waffle no, House. No, and I feel bad for anybody who works at Waffle House now because if of that If I video. ever get a resume that says that they worked at Waffle House, I'm going to be like, you're the boss. You're the CEO. Because I yeah. don't know if I can figure that out. It's It's crazy. <laughs> Oh, Fran, how was your trip? Manny, come back to the shop. I'm not going back. I like it here. I've got respect and responsibility. I've got a duty to do. <laughs> I'm a team member. And Bernard was very mean, and, and he wouldn't say sorry. I'm not going back. You have to come back, Manny. Bernard and I need you. <laughs> Does uh, Fran kind of sound like... Our boss. A little bit. <laughs> Roy. <laughs> Come back. We need you. <laughs> Sorry. That was an inside thing. Well, I'm staying here until you do. Fran, Fran, somebody will be here very soon. <laughs> now she's really like it. Hello. <laughs> How may I help you? She's a friend. We love hey, you. Hey, terrific. We love a friend you. of Manny's. <laughs> How may I help you? I'm just browsing. Well, we have a really comfortable area just over there, especially for that. I want to browse here. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> he looks crazy. He just put a cigarette out of his hand. That's pretty crazy. <laughs> no, but his eyes. Look at his eyes when he did it. Oh. Like, <laughs> Sorry. 
Yeah, Simon Pegg is so good. Right, well, I'll just go home and unpack. Not talk to anyone today, shall I? <laughs> you always kill me. So I know, I like him as his character. So, a friend. <laughs> yes, yeah, so she used to uh, come into the shop to see me and Bernard. It was great. We used to have. Uh, I took a risk when I employed you, Manny. Don't eat muffins when I'm developing you. <laughs> I took a risk when I gave you a job. A lot of people would have said, who is this rudderless hippie? How do I get away from him? Has he got a hunting knife strapped to his shin? <laughs> but I saw through that. But you have to work for me, OK? OK. okay. We're your friends now, Manny. Yes, I know. Mm? Thank you, Evan. OK. Now, one of our valued younger customers has blocked up the toilets with Monster Munch. <laughs> now, I need that toilet back in play. Let's approach that as a team, shall we? How can we make that happen? OK, uh, we could uh, phone for a uh, plan. <laughs> Go team! Dude, I've had supervisors like him really? in the casino, and I just wanted to strangle him. Let's do this as a Straight. Team. So here's the other thing. Simon Pegg is, I, I love him, but he usually plays like the heroes, mm -hmm. flawed heroes, but he usually plays heroes. Yeah. And in this one, he's playing a villain. I know. But That's he's why good. I think he's I like it so much. It, yeah. Yeah. And it, he's, it's given me flashbacks of all the supervisors I I've had. I definitely the casino. had bosses like that. And like in the, at, I don't know how, in, in our casino, like every supervisor that we had was just. Like, if you took all the employees, like, the worst people to deal with mm -hmm. were the supervisors. Yeah. So they always pick the worst people to be the supervisors. Like, uh, It reminds me of, like, this manager when, like, I had a job and I was, like, seriously doing... I say, like, so much. I was doing the work of everyone there. Mm -hmm. Like, I was doing the amount of work for three people. And instead of my boss being, like, good job, you deserve a raise... Yeah. They did the same thing he did. Well, we're a team. So you're <laughs> yeah. just, you're you're helping them as a team. And I'm like, okay, well it's, it's yeah. they're on their phones and I I'm don't busting like, my ass. That's not a team. Yeah, I, I agree. I don't like working in a in a place where like whoever's above you treats everything like it's a like a s like you're a statistic. Yeah. Or some cog in a wheel. Like there's yeah. no it, they don't promote individualism at all like you know because even though i i'm one of those people even if you work in like a big place with a lot of people mm -hmm. you're still a fucking human being yeah and need to be treated like one yeah instead of you know treated like a fucking number you know the other thing to look out for is jobs that are like we treat you like family here yeah which is always bullshit because then they call you and they're like can you come into work and you're like no i can't today and they're like but we're your family yeah <laughs> it's always bullshit Did you eat me? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna lose team champion points. Oh, no. How are you gonna be late with a great store? I've washed your bed sheets. I haven't had time to dry oh, them. Can you do it? Breakfast! Breakfast! <laughs> the beans are under the milk. That's it. You're evicted. What? Up with this. I will not put. <laughs> Pack and be gone. Bernard, no. Look at yourself. Who's going to look after you? You can't survive on the mushrooms in your hair. I'm fine. <laughs> Come on. Get out. Go to him. Go to your fancy man. I don't need you anymore. Look, Bernard, it doesn't have to be like this. If you would just apologize... What, you mean you'd come back and work in the shop? Everything would be normal? Yes. 
You cook and clean and surprise me every now and again with those profiteroles you make if I took you to the pictures at Christmas. Yes. And all I have to do to get that back is say sorry. That's exactly what I'm saying. I thought so. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> now he's gonna spy on Morning. <laughs> he's bending down now. <laughs> right, he's right. getting up again. I knew he'd do that. Is this really helping? Look, now he's going up on that little ladder. Up he goes with that little wiggle of his. The wiggle of Judas. The Judas boogie. Well, I think you're both being really selfish. What about me? What am I supposed to do? Think about me. I'm a girl and it's horrible in here. <coughs> Look at yourself. How can you live like this? Don't move. What? Don't move. What? Cheese. Have you ever lived with anybody who's like, they just find like random food that's been sitting around for like hours, sometimes maybe even a day or two, and they still eat it? Not that extreme, have you? Yes. Oh yeah, you see it with guys a lot. Especially when they're hungover and they don't give well, a I've fuck seen, about fuck all. I've seen all. hungover people, like, there was pizza, <clears throat> we ordered pizza that night, and then everyone passed out at the house. And then in the morning, you just wake up and eat the same pizza that's been sitting out all night. I've seen that. Yeah. But I haven't seen, like, a few days. Well, maybe not, like, a few days. Maybe, like, one or two days. Yeah. You know, if Were it's you a few days and you eat something you are that has just been sitting out, you are brave. <laughs> you're brave. You are you're not even very lazy brave. Anymore. You are living you're on brave. the edge. You are, you are living on a day-to-day -day basis where you, yeah. you're like, I don't give a fuck if I don't wake up tomorrow. So. I don't know. But yeah, that's more of a guy thing, but I've, yeah, I've seen shit like that before. Or something like that. Like a piece of cheese is just laying around and somebody's like, oh, cheese. I feel like a house with all guys Oh, hello. Really dirty um, I'm looking for somewhere in the Bloomsbury area, overlooking Hyde Park, with a good view of the river, and uh, a spiral staircase. My budget is, is, is 100 a week. Manny! <laughs> Do you have a mo for a small chat at? Fine, a mundo. <laughs> Wait, let's say that Staircase. again. My budget is 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 a hundred a week. Manny. The Jim Carrey like right here. Yeah, it's it. Do you have a mo for a small chat at? <laughs> Fine, a mundo. <laughs> now, I've been thinking about clothes mm. and what they say about us. Now, the good thing about working here, of course, is that we get to wear our own clothes. I mean, we're not robots, are we? No. <laughs> Hello, can I help you? 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 We love your style, OK? The shirts, the sandals. <laughs> it's funky. <laughs> But imagine we're all on a football team, yeah. OK? And the guy on the wing, he's wearing a crazy shirt. Nobody knows what team he's on. Can I pass to him? I don't know. And look, his sandal has come off on the muddy ground. Damn it! <laughs> We've lost 5-0. No. Yes. So tomorrow, plain pastels, if you please. And if you'd be so good, a pair of shoes. But we're not actually playing football. Great. I mean, it's, it's a flaw. It's not like on a... Good. Picture. So long as we're happy. It's not like we have oranges at half time. Great! Cheers! 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 Is that Fran and Manny in there? I, think Pro so. I mean, uh, Bernard. Yeah. Um, this might be Simon Pegg's best character. He's funny, yeah. That I've it, ever yeah. seen. He's, he's so. <laughs> it's fucking. And you hate him too, and yet yeah. he's making you laugh. Manny, would you hurry up with the wine? Oh, yes, Manny, come on. Sorry, Bernard, 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 sorry, sorry. Now, shall we go to the pub or just stay in? Fran? <laughs> well, I have to have somewhere to go, Manny. Now, Bernard really wants to talk to you. Yes, I do. And if you won't go? 
I'm going to have to live here. <laughs> she is crazy, yes. Fran's awesome, though. I love Fran. She is. She's awesome. She is. Now, we are going to sort this out, okay? Bernard, I think you have something you want to say to Manny. <laughs> Manny, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I ever let you in here. <laughs> to rob me of my best years before leaving me a burnt-out husk. Well, that, that gives us somewhere to work from. But don't you think, Manny? Manny, I think you would like to tell Bernard just how much you'd like to come back and make it all nice again. No. No, wait a minute. This is all about you, isn't it, Fran? You're being totally selfish. Why can't you let us have our vicious, soul-destroying breakup in peace? He's right. We are in pieces, and you don't care about anything except having somewhere to hang around. Ah, huh, thanks. Not at all. It's never going to be like it was, Fran. Never. I agree. We agree. Manny and I are opposed on every point. <laughs> well put. Thank you. My pleasure. <laughs> I know. Haven't you got other friends to annoy? Why don't you go and persecute them? Yeah, yeah, society lady. <laughs> <laughs> how come you went to Cornwall on your own? Yeah, how come? Huh? Hmm? I've got friends? Oh. Well, go to them. Yeah. I will. Yeah, don't let us stop you. I won't. Huh. Well, go on then. <laughs> and that backfired. Yeah. <laughs> well, it might work if I bring them together. <laughs> oh, uh, listen. Don't forget to dry your sheets. Well, well, I'll be off then, since it's all over between us. I'll write. I won't read it. <laughs> well, 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 I'll call. I'll hang up. <laughs> well, I'll come and see you. I'll be dead by then. <laughs> Listen, it doesn't have to be like this. If you would just say those two words. Impossible for him. Okay, huddle time, huddle time, huddle time. Gather around, guys. <clears throat> Great day today, team. Yes! <laughs> okay, okay, that was a silver star day. Okay, tomorrow I want gold. Okay? You see, selling books is a game, it has rules. And you need to learn those rules, yeah? And you need to get serious about them because it's not a game. Okay, home time. Off you go. Those guys all look. You coming, Manny? No, I. Try to uh, knock on your door and read you the Bible. Yeah, yeah, they do. They all look like Mormons. Yeah, or just show up on your front door and try to sell you something. Yeah, or solar panels. Yeah. To get serious about them because it's not a game. <laughs> okay, home time. Off you go. You coming, Manny? No, I, I thought I'd uh, put in an extra hour, really get to grips with the do's to do <laughs> Above and beyond the call of duty. That's one team champion point for you right there, sir. Yes! <laughs> Manny, your hair. Does it ever get in the way at all? Not really. Mm. gonna pop around the corner or something. Nope, oh, nope. Yeah. 
Oh, that sounds like the most uncomfortable thing I've ever heard. <coughs> Yeah, you threw it right into the oh thing. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Hi. Woke up. Let's see how she does. Good morning, Manny. Morning, Evan. Uh, just popped in to do my yoga. I do it every morning in my yoga bag. <laughs> just running through a few positions. Uh, this is the worm. Uh, worm saluting the sun. Um, anaconda. <laughs> I'm a reasonable guy. I like to be straight with people. I expect them to be the same. If you tell me the truth, I won't get mad. So tell me. Also. Did you sleep here last night? Yes, I did. <laughs> 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 I'm really angry now! feeling so good. Coffee. And something to make something. Could throw oven cleaner. You can clean an oven, you can clean me. See what he said? If you have a clean oven, you can clean it. Yeah. You're either gonna die or have a <laughs> This guy's a maniac. There's been several things that have happened in multiple episodes, though, mm -hmm. where they should have died. Yes, so, yeah. It's I like, definitely think cleaning, uh, drinking oven cleaner would kill you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Temporary clothes for staff training. When you look at me, Manny, what do you see? Well, I'll tell you. You see me and you say, hey, there's Evan. He's a young guy. He likes the stereophonics. He rides a scooter. <laughs> Let's see how far I can push him. But well, you've let me down, Manny. Please give me one more chance. I need a sign, Manny. A sign that you can change. I need you to do something for me. What? I think you know. <laughs> the hair, Manny! It's a wall between you and the customers, between you and me, between you and the future. We need you to look like this. <laughs> Not the hair. Please, not the hair. I bet this is uh, nine. It's time. <laughs> not gonna happen. <laughs> I've never, in, in, look, I'm not an expert on Bill Bailey, obviously, but in all the clips that I've seen him and other he always things, he hair. always has long hair. Okay. So it's not, it's not gonna happen. I'm like 99% sure if it doesn't happen. If it does happen, I'll smack myself in the face in front of... Oh, yeah? The boomerites, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna go crazy. He's gonna run out of there. How are you doing in there, Manny? We're all rooting for all you out here. It's like they're an army. Manny? 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 Oh, you're right. You didn't do it. <laughs> Manny! Yay. Found it! 
I'm sorry. It was my fault you toasted my hand. <laughs> Will you take me back? Please? Bernard, what are you? Bernard's dead. Bernard! Maddie! Foaming from the mouth on the floor. Manny, I don't feel that well. Is he I leaning on anything? Like I'm being beaten up underwater. <laughs> I can feel bits of my brain falling away like a wet cake. Could <laughs> you help me? I will, Bernard. I will. Bernard, Manny. <laughs> I've come She's like, excuse me. <laughs> I'm awake now. You must <laughs> play with me. <laughs> Big old smile. You got five more minutes. Actually, not even. I just tell you that I'm moving to Cornwall in order to start a new life. Yeah, yeah, just give it a hand, will you? I'm okay, okay. I was gonna go, you know. Yeah, yeah. Hang in there, Bernard. Fran, get some hot towels and some fluffy water. <laughs> Manny! Uh oh. Come here. Bernard, he wants my hair! How dare you? <laughs> Don't you touch a hair on that boy's head. Have you no respect? He's mine. <laughs> Get your own human plaything. You quartz-brained little cream puff. <laughs> OK, well, I tried. There's obviously no point outreaching to people like you. Manny, in two years, you could have been vice deputy sub-assistant, but you're not. <laughs> vice, vice deputy sub-assistant. <laughs> That's what those people are like, though, I feel it like. Is. They, it's, you it's could like have a, been it, assistant to the assistant to the assistant's it, manager. Dude, he's playing that, like, douchebag fucking guy who's, like, a step above you in, in the... Uh, the hierarchy in the workplace. He's yeah. playing him so well, plus the uh, the power trip that comes with that position. Yeah. It's like... Simon Pegg is fucking awesome. Can't you praise him enough. You're shuffling around on the floor like the worm you are! <laughs> what is he doing? I'm so sorry. <laughs> you have to go through that abuse. Oh, we're, back we're a little hungry now, so fetch up some wine, would you? Oh, yes, Manny. Go on, get something nice. We're really famished. Okay, and uh, what sort of thing would you like? Don't ask questions, just do it! <laughs> and clean this place up, it's a disgrace! And boil my eyeballs! And polish the stair rods! Delouge the duvet! And tumble dry our doilies. Oh, you need that and table. hoover the roof. And whistle down the chimneys. <laughs> whistle down the chimneys. Whistle down the chimneys. Whistle down the chimneys. I really like that episode. Whistle down the chimneys. I th yeah. You want to see a smiling baby? Look at the smiling baby. Yeah, she's smiling. Hi. 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 Oh, yeah. That's me. Um, no, I really liked that episode, man. That was, I think that might have been that one of my really favorites. Good, yeah. Just because, uh, you know, when you have favorite characters and then you throw a villain in there that's a really hateable character and you got somebody playing it who you know and usually doesn't play those types of characters yeah. and does it very well, it's not only very impressive, but it adds so much to it that you're like... Because when he went in there with the shop with the um, shears, and uh, I was like, I was like, yeah, Bernard, like, punch him in the face. Yeah. Or I, something. I wonder if he's going to be in any more. Yeah, which is also ironic because they're both in Shaun of the Dead. And uh, Dylan Moran, the guy who plays Bernard, is the annoying guy that gets ripped apart by the zombies in that movie. So it's kind of like the roles reverse. So like in that one, you wanted something to happen to to uh, that guy, but now in this one, you're cheering on Dylan Moran to knock Simon Pegg out. It's it's funny. 
So even in goofy comedy shows like this, you could have great acting that raises the raises the uh, bar, is what I'm, I guess I'm trying to say. But I liked it a lot. And uh, how about you? I loved it. That was a great episode. Yeah. I, let let the biscuit Kyle play with the be... water bottle. I can't drink water around her. She gets mad. I know. I want um Simon Cow Simon Cow to be in more episodes. Simon Pegg. Simon Pegg. Simon Cow is the guy from uh, American <laughs> Idol. American Idol, yeah. <laughs> Simon Pegg. Yeah. No, I think it was just it was definitely a one off. He's dead. He got hit in the head by a surveillance camera. I feel like I do that with celebrities a lot. I know, but usually you just make up names. What's you so don't. Funny? You don't switch the names of like celebrities. You usually just make a like Benedict Cumberbatch. You said his name was Benedict Pumpernickel. Benedict Pumpernickel. Yeah, sounds right. <laughs> <laughs> but it, and it gets crazier and crazier every time. Uh, but I I love it and I still love you. So thanks. Love you. You're welcome. But uh, yeah, really good episode. I love to start to season three and. Uh, Hopefully it gets better, even better from here. Maybe, is it three seasons or four seasons that uh, Black Books is? Let me just, Black Books seasons. How many, how many seasons are there? Black Books, books that are black. Series three, okay, it's three seasons, yes. So this is the final season. No, that was not an invitation, Siri. No. God. Okay. Anyway, good episode. Can't wait to see it anymore. See, can't wait to can't see wait anymore. Can't wait to see it anymore. We've I lost can't. our minds. We've lost our minds in the Boomer household. All right. Uh, like, subscribe, do whatever you guys want, and we'll see you again soon. Peace out, everybody. Bye, guys.